Sagittarius singles. Sun, moon, rising in Venus. This is your singles reading for the end of January 2022. I got to say with this reading, I'm a Sagittarius. I have my sun, I have Jupiter, I have Mercury, and I have Mars in Sagittarius in the fourth house and a Cancer moon. So it's kind of a swimming in water, my Sagittariusness. But it's strong, and it's just it's my reading. <laughs> I try, yeah, I don't know, a lot of times it is. but So I feel like I have such a good understanding. What I'm going to do, well, I'll tell you what I got here. <laughs> and then we're going to drill down with three cards on this um, Three of Swords, which this is the energy of uh, what's blocking us, okay? Um, uh, what's, what's the problem? Uh, the overall energy is uh, the emperor. And as overall energy, it's two things. One, it's uh, Aries in us, our sense of self, um, how we assert ourselves, first house energy, uh, where Aries is in our charts, in my eighth house. Hello. Uh, and uh, so keeping that in mind, and, and it also could be just there's an Aries in our life here, I think is what this is as overall energy. Uh, so if this is a singles reading, but uh, if you have an Aries that you're dating or in mind, um, this could be speaking to that, you know? Um, <clears throat> but I feel like there's someone here because of all these pinnacles. It, it, but it also is about working on ourselves. But we're coming in with the Ten of Pentacles energy. That's where we're at in love and relationship. It doesn't get a lot better than that. But what this is saying in the reading is that we don't know how good we have it. We're not problem. This is the crossing card. We're not appreciating how much we have. It's as simple as that. We're not being grateful for what we have. We have whatever it is we have. We're thinking about what we don't have. You know, this very well could be a broken heart. You know. I, and it's not exactly that for me, but it's just that feeling that the other shoe is going to drop, the programming all the way back from abandonment and childhood, that he, if things are going well, boy, that's when you really got to watch out because you know it's coming, right? It always comes. It always. Well, no, it doesn't, but that's in your mind. You always got to remember with Three of Swords, it's that iconic card of uh, tarot. And it looks like it's emotional, and it is, but, I mean, these are thoughts. I mean, there's no better way to sabotage uh, anything, a relationship, uh, manifestation, really. That's where I'm at right now. I have love. I want health and wealth. It's simple, where I'm focused. It, but this is self-sabotaging with our minds, with negative thinking, with something with the past. Something that hurt us. If it's a relationship, it's a relationship that hurt us. Um, now, such a clear reading. This is the advice from Spirit. And, you know, in the Guild of Terror Royale, this Ace of Pentacles, I mean, how robust is this elk with this, look at the muscles just rippling here, exudes strength here. This is advice from Spirit to start something new. This is why I think you know who's around. It's you've got everything's in place, Sag. You have everything you need. Um, the the emperor has confidence, you know. Um, this, but this is draining. Yeah, this would be draining confidence, draining energy, draining everything. And it's just also not focusing. And you're probably not focusing on what you have a, a chance at beginning. Because, look, this is a fantastic beginning. You know, of all the aces, this is the one you want to put your, if you're an investor, you want to put your money in a startup company and take a chance, take a chance on the Ace Pinnacles company. Not the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace Swords. Fast talker, deep feeler, bullshitter. This one's going to get, get it done. This is in it to win it. This is the long-lasting energy. This is talking about Sag, making a commitment if this is a love rating that's a for the long term here. This is a marriage, long-term committed relationship. And then the outcome is the eight of pentacles, which I always say is one of the best cards in the entire deck here. 
You know, this is that energy of doing the good work. It's so personal. Uh, everything but the emperor is personal here. Uh, so this is going to be the future. I think it's going to be another eight months of kind of putting in this good work uh, into possibly this relationship, you know. It's something that needs to be worked on. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all, you know. Um, I think it's uh, like we would get so much more bang from our buck if instead of putting our energy at all into this sinkhole of this Three of Swords, whatever it is that we're not feeling good about and uh, feeling unhappy about and heartbroken about and not feeling like we don't have enough and just pour that energy into this new beginning here. It should be something that's obvious to you. Um, and look what I said about the Ace of Swords, this uh, fast talker. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's on the bottom of the deck after I took the Emperor, but I saw it, so I had to call it, all right? So, yeah. And that could be, too, like, I, even with the Three of Swords, this kind of reminds me to say, it's got the Dove here. In order to bring peace to ourselves, we got to call ourselves out here. Like, we got to give this a name, like Yahweh. Like, you know, don't give God a name. It makes it real. So, you know. Uh, call it out what, whatever that is. If it's abandonment issues, call it out I think as abandonment issues. Well, let me do three cards. Let's see what we're getting. And take that one in reverse. That's how it's coming, and that's in reverse. Okay. Uh, so let's move these over. Move this guy over here. These are where we can see them. And. Uh, Wow, this Three of Swords energy. Well, you know, with the Six of Wands here, it gives me the feeling that you're 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 not being appreciative for what you have, and this is you're missing that you won something, Sag. It's like instead of enjoying your win, you're focused on what what you did win. Like, okay, you won the war. Uh, but there, you didn't win it exactly the way you won it, or, you know. Uh, and so instead of focusing on the fact, oh my God, you won the war, look at these accolades. And this is really, really good energy. Uh, maybe something to do how you got to the pinnacle, Sag, honestly. But it's like you're not looking at that. You're just thinking about this stuff. And this is in the present position. With the Ten of Swords reversed, it's the same thing as this Three of Swords. Look at even the colors are the same. This is like, and even this is the outcome. Two of Swords are first. Don't do it, Sag. This is telling me that you're still hanging in there. You're having trouble dealing with this and let go of this energy. Because Ten of Swords should, should be kind of good in that it's over. It's over. It's a mental pattern. It's over. It's here. It's like you're hanging on to it. It's reversed. Like you just don't want to let it go. you got to stop and ask yourself, what is it that you get out of it? You know? What is it that you get out of this energy? Because there's got to be something. I mean, you have it all. You have an enormous potential here right on top of you. Uh, I think you're going to be putting your work into it. And you know what's missing here is a cup card. And it's almost like I feel like it's kind of tortured here with even the outcome. I think you're looking at a couple more months here, maybe having to try to deal with this. And, but you're still going to be working on this new beginning, you know. And I'm clarifying this. Look, ten of wands, man. Okay. Um, it's nearing an end. But I think, like, you guys feel like you got to do something. Like, you got to finish something. you got to carry a burden, you know. It's like... You know, it's like you're not ready for the Six of Wands yet. Like, you're just not ready to accept it. I don't know, you don't feel like you earned it or something. Maybe that's what it is. You don't feel like you're getting accolades here as a metaphor. And say you're riding, but you're re but just as a metaphor, maybe he's realizing, well, you know, I, I did fight, but you know, I was lucky and I didn't really. There's many men fought braver than I, and I'm kind of, you know, a little bit of conflicted energy as you're riding here in this parade. So, so it's uh, the good news is you're not resting on your laurels, which is a good, typical sad, you know. Uh, but the bad news is, you know, we're just not allowing ourselves to kind of take the win. You know, I think 
It's like, this is like, take this all. The, I just read it could be like, Sag, just take the win. That's it. Thank you, guys. I hope that helps. So give me a like. Appreciate it. Helps the algorithm drive me on a little bit. Get out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Do appreciate it. Love comments. Thank you, guys.